my precious. Hey, how you doing, guys? This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello humans and thank you for joining me in another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash the like button. Now let's get ready for the show. On today's episode... Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Today, pickups video, that's right, pickups that were in this bag and all these packages in there. Get my games delivered to work just more convenient that way especially now in this time where we have to be on lockdown you know i shop on the internet and you know more and more i see good deals popping out there so let's just get started let's get right away for things that i've been looking for that i've been getting you know guys i'm gonna add some games to my collection it's pretty hard to say once you get over a thousand it's like mm. You have to start thinning out the herd, at least for me. I don't want to put games into my collection that I don't intend to play or show off or showcase or anything like that. But Shin Megami Tensei is a collection that I really, really want to build, really want to work on. And do I need to get this? No. But I think it's a, it's a great memory, you know, and I do own the games in Japanese. So this is... Uh, the soundtrack that's included in the game so that's pretty cool you know and I have it for, for a couple other games so you know I said why not next I wanted to get a real traditional Atlas RPG for my DS and show my DS some love I haven't buying I haven't been buying DS games really so I thought I'd get something nice for it and look at that Radiant Historia by who Atlas you know this know this. Speaking of Atlas, I'm not going to show you just yet. I'm not going to show you just yet. I'll, I'm going to hold off. The, the last two guys, the last two are PS2. And they are not cheap. And uh, yeah, a little hard to come by sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, I'm not saying that they're not out there. They're out there, but they're not the cheapest. But I'm going to show you this game has a lot of meaning for me. This game humbled me. I'm going to make a video on this game and I'm going to tell you why. But it holds a very special sentimental place in my heart. I didn't own it. I had traded it in. Never got it back. So I got me another copy. Alright. Next. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. Look at the artwork. Stella Deuce. You guys see it? This game is in immaculate condition. I'm really happy with the condition of this game. Even the manual is just boobies. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Can't wait to play this. But I have a couple other irons burning in the fire, but man, this game. Yeah, I'm ready. Another game that I'm ready for. It's, you say it right, Sugunai Atonement. Sugunai Atonement. Yes. This one I had to do a little haggling. I'm not gonna lie. You know, we're going back and forth, this, that, the other. But I really wanted to own it. I really want to have it. I really want to beef up my JRPG collection because I've been enjoying them so much, you know? And there's. There's games that I just like, you know, I like uh, third-person shooters, I like uh, action RPGs, I like, you know, uh, just old-school shooters, so I tend to gravitate towards those, but in general, you know, just speaking in general terms, JRPGs, especially from the PS2 and PS3 eras, hold up really, really well, not only playing-wise, but 
money wise they keep their value so you know it's a better investment than buying at least in my opinion buying a game at a fair price that's you know uh, only going to go up in value is always a wise investment right uh, so it's also good buying games that you you know you thought are sleepers you know and eventually they go up but yeah i want to fill up my collection with a lot of games that i've been wanting that maybe i couldn't get before and now that i have a larger collection i'm able to sell some of the uh, overstock or you know extras that i have and uh, you know turn those into games that i really really want that maybe are a little bit higher in price you know all those games that i bought for two dollars and fifty cents you know now are eight bucks ten bucks i sell ten of those and hey you know, we're in business, right? And that's what I've been doing. That's how I've been getting some of these games. The large collection that I bought, guys, it paid for itself. Right now, it's buying me more games. So that was an amazing buy. I always, you know, I, I would wish I could say I'm going to do it again, but it, it was just insane. I don't know that I can do it again. That was just, wow, wow. Um, but I probably will because I'm a hoarder. I mean, because I'm a collector and good business savvy guy. No. <laughs> All right, guys, I just wanted to share my pickups real quick, make a real quick pickups video for you guys. I hope everybody out there is blessed. I hope you're playing your games. I hope you're having fun with your family. You know, I've been working, had a long day at work today, but very satisfying, and I'm blessed that I'm, that I'm able to work, you know, with so many people out of work right now and so many people stuck at home. So, you know, I don't complain. I'm nothing but blessed, and I'm sharing these games. You know just to entertain you guys and, and you know make you smile maybe um, if you're having a tough time out there and uh, you know hopefully we get to make some videos on these and talk about it in the, in the Facebook all right guys I will catch you on the next one never ever be afraid to be happy wash your hands thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X gamer remember to like and subscribe click the notification bell and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.